Approval of America's $60 billion aid package to Ukraine brought hope to people on the streets of Kyiv as they braced for a Russian assault expected in a few weeks. Many here had worried the U.S. was abandoning them. They did not want their last names used for security reasons. I'm very glad that this issue has finally been moved forward. Finally, there will be help for Ukraine from the U.S. This brings joy. I think that any Ukrainian will tell you that this was a very critical issue. There will be more help, more equipment. We will win faster. Faster the peace will come without war, without losses, without grief. People say they are grateful to the American people after weeks of tension made worse by a delay in the AIDS passage. Of course there are positive emotions. We have been waiting for this for a very long time. Of course we are grateful to them, Americans, for providing us with weapons. I wish it will get to our soldiers at the front line as fast as possible. After the package cleared its first hurdle in the U.S. House of Representatives, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky thanked American lawmakers, saying the aid will benefit both Ukraine and the United States. We appreciate every sign of support for our country and its independence, people and way of life, which Russia is attempting to bury under the rubble. America has demonstrated its leadership since the first days of this war. Exactly this type of leadership is required to maintain a rules-based international order and predictability for all nations. Military analysts here say the U.S. aid, which includes long-range missiles, could be a game-changer on the battlefield. Oleksandr Musienko, head of the Center for Military Legal Studies, says U.S. support, including advanced long-range guided missiles called Atikams, is critical as Ukraine is running short on weapons and ammunition. Russian troops are preparing to intensify their offensive in the east, and the Ukrainian troops really need additional weapons, additional ammunition, projectiles. We need attackums to restrain this offensive. Musienko and others believe chances have increased significantly for Ukrainian forces when they face the Russian offensive that's expected in the coming months. Washington's aid package to Ukraine consists largely of loans, which has touched off an intense debate in Ukraine. The country is already struggling with a national debt that has reached $145 billion, up from nearly $90 billion at the start of the war. Some economists and politicians are raising questions of how and when Ukraine will be able to pay it all back. These are desperate times for Ukraine, and for many Ukrainians, what's most important is the money is coming now. Anna Chernikova, VOA News, Kyiv.